Welcome to our March Madness NCAA Tournament Big East forecast. Here's how it works. I'm going to count down the power rankings essentially from 10 to 1. Look at the contenders, teams out of the mix, and possibly some that can make a deep run out of the Big East. First, the teams that are going to be a little bit out of the mix out of the Big East. I've got four in this grouping. Now, keep this in mind. This league will be better than it was last season when it had six teams in the NCAA Tournament. One to 10, there's going to be no gimmies here, and that starts at the bottom. This DePaul team is much improved. They may not move up the standings, but they're going to be a better basketball team. Creighton, a little bit of a rebuild going on there. Seton Hall, the same thing. Xavier's on this list of out of the mix, and I know I've heard it from the Xavier fans. They certainly could go into the contending status. A lot of it will have to depend on how 6'11 Ferris State transfer Zach Hankins does. Now, Travis Steele told me he could be a difference maker. If he is, maybe the Musketeers by season's end are a contender. Right now, I've got him out of the mix. For contenders out of the Big East, I've got a host of them. Let's start at number six, Georgetown, Patrick Ewing. Yes, I've got the Hoyas getting into the NCAA tournament. Jesse Govan will be a difference maker for Patrick Ewing. St. John's, this could be a banner season for Chris Mullen in New York. Shamari Pons was the Big East preseason player of the year. He's got Auburn transfer, Mustafa Heron eligible. There's no reason why the Red Storm can't be in the NCAA tournament. Providence, Alpha Diallo will certainly be a key factor for the Friars. Emmett Holt is healthy for Ed Cooley, so the Friars will be back in the NCAA tournament again. And Butler, led by Kamar Baldwin. Laval Jordan's got a Bulldog team that certainly could finish very high in the Big East. There are two teams out of the Big East that I think could make a very deep run in the NCAA tournament. At number two, I've got Marquette. They've got a beautiful new home that they share with the Bucks. Marcus Howard is a prolific scorer. So can Sam Hauser do that for the Marquette Golden Eagles. These two guys told me at Big East Media Day, if they can just defend, they certainly can compete for the Big East championship and possibly a deep run in the NCAA tournament. At number one, why not, Villanova. The Wildcats certainly could get to the Final Four, and yes, they could win their third national championship in four seasons. How is that possible? they got a great recruiting class, and they've got two key returnees, Bill Booth and Eric Pascal. Inside and out, Booth can light it up from the perimeter. Pascal can actually make shots from the perimeter. He can be a beast inside. Jay Wright has all the pieces back to not only win the Big East yet again, but also make a deep run and win the national championship.